Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Whisper. Today I'll be doing a very simple video, but it will be about um it'll really only be about um a simpler model. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, I'm so sorry. But yeah, let's just get right to it. Sorry, let me move some stuff aside. <laughs> I know I'm not a great YouTuber, but I'll try. Um so I was showing you the updated version, much easier version of my frisbee. Literally yeah, it's like five, maybe six steps, and it's much easier than the other one, so let's get right into it. So to, let's start by folding in half, both directions, horizontally and vertically. You know what I mean? Rectangularly, as I like to call it. Edge to edge, as some people call it, you get the point. Oops. Okay, so next, let me change, let me change the angle. Next, you're going to fold one edge to the middle. And then, you're going to fold, then rotate 90 degrees and fold the uh, next edge to the middle, the edge closest to you. Rotate 100, 100 sorry, not 100, 90 degrees and rotate and fold the edge closest to you. Now, this one's going to be a bit different. Rotate 90 degrees again, fold the edge to the middle that's closest to you. Looks like there's one catch. We're gonna unfold it now and tuck it inside. I'll explain what I mean. Basically, I'm gonna show you the full inside, and we're gonna push it. We're gonna push it in. We're gonna fold it, and then we're gonna go turn the, this crease into a mountain fold and push it in. Tuck it in. You know, cool. Once you get it, once that's done and it's fully in. You can stop, and you have our. We have a very simple but cool interlocking base. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna um you're gonna fold um you're actually so you're gonna make uh you're gonna fold the edge to the middle. Sorry, the corner to the middle. You know what I mean. Um, then you're actually gonna unfold it, and you're gonna fold um you're gonna um you're sorry what am I doing? Then you're gonna fold approximately to the center of that line. It doesn't have to be perfect, just approximately. This is the whole fun of being more on me. It doesn't have to be perfect unless you're making a super complicated model, which is not what this video is for. Cool. Next. You're gonna um next what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this edge. So this edge I'm sticking up right now that's on the same square as the um what's it called? As the corner is folded down, you're gonna fold it this so that this edge aligns with this edge. Then you're gonna tuck it inside the corner. We just fold it down. You're gonna lock it both of them in place, supposedly. And it might not fit in perfectly, just do it the best you can. I'm still working on design this model, so tell me what you think in the comments. Just be honest. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Then you're gonna repeat on all the other corners. I'll go slow this time, unlike I usually do. Well, it's slower than I usually do. Me not as slow as normal. I'm not sure as slow as I did in that last one. Let me zoom in, actually. And you're going to crease it extra strongly. Once you're done with all the all four corners, you're really done. You're just gonna have to reinforce the crease to make it extra strong. I find that the more uh, the stronger you crease it, the further it goes. I will tell you, this is a pretty impressive frisbee. It will throw pretty far. So, should we test it out? I'd say so. So, let me rotate the camera real quick. 
figure out how to get this. I'm trying to do this best I can. Pretty cool, right? Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time, hopefully soon. Bye.